Anyone who's clicked into a webinar and seen this screen knows how incredibly frustrating it can be to miss something that's streaming live online and know that you'll never have a chance to see it again. I'm going to show you how to use WM Capture, our screen capture program, to record webinars or anything that you can play on your PC. So you'll never have to be frustrated again by missing something that was streaming live online that you really wanted to see. I'm just about to start watching this webinar and I want to set up WM Capture to record it. It's super easy to do and I just need to follow a few simple steps. Before the webinar gets started, you want to get WM Capture up and running. I'm just going to double click on the desktop icon. WM Capture makes it super easy to record a video window. It tells you here right when you open the program, you just click Get Video. If necessary, you resize the rectangle for the recording area and just click Record. WM Capture also offers dual monitor support, so that means that I can have the webinar playing on one screen and be working on my PC on another. So I am going to go ahead, close out the screen. I've got the WM Capture user interface right here. I'm going to click Settings. When you're screen capturing, it can take a lot of your computer processing power. And WM Capture includes what we call recommended settings, which is absolutely wonderful. It makes it so brainless for you to set up the program so that you're getting the optimal performance for whatever it is you're trying to record. So I do have a dual core computer. I am, if you look down here, it says right here, movies, webinars, web videos. I'm going to click that and click OK. And then what it does is it sets it up for me automatically to capture the right video bit rate frames per second based on the type of computer I have and the type of stream I'm trying to capture, which is so cool. It tells me here though that the default recording time is 10 minutes. I know that the webinar is an hour, so I'm going to go in and change that, give myself five minutes of wiggle room, and then I just click OK. And now the webinar has started, so I can click Get Video. It has found the video window for me. I'm going to click Record. It's now recording the webinar and I can see in this little the window on the user interface that it's getting exactly the stream I want. And now I can work on the other monitor on my PC and the webinar is being recorded for me so that when I have time I can watch it at my leisure. I'm going to pause my recording and I'll come back when the webinar is finished. My webinar just finished. It was actually really great and I have captured it. So I'm going to click stop and play and here it is and I can fast forward through it I can replay it whenever I need there was a lot of helpful information and now I have it recorded and can go back and enjoy it anytime I want WM capture it's a great program for anybody who's interested in capturing webinars training anything that's streaming on your PC why don't you check it out today